Beloved of my heart, angels of the Comforter, angels of holy comfort, now attend you, bringing buoyant light for the balance of so necessary a discipline. Love's discipline is the greatest of all beloved hearts. It is also the tender anointing whereby the legions of light might bear that very discipline and the stupendous will of God. Earth, therefore, is commanded by Elohim in the power of the Holy Ghost to come into alignment. This command is an arrow of blue lightning from my heart and the heart of Elohim to the leaders of all nations to rise up and stand for the people who by far understand and have the greater and more direct contact with me as the representative of the office of the Holy Spirit to Earth's evolutions. Tenderest hearts of light, nation by nation, the people are betrayed by the gods and the leaders who hold them back who stand in the portal, who prevent the people from passing through that Christ light into the freedom of drawing forth the glorious and beauteous momentum of their own causal body of light. The people would accelerate, the people would prepare, would protect, would manifest peace were it not for the vileness and the conspiracy of the fallen angels who prevent them and who have convinced many to trust in them, to worship them, and to follow them. By the light of the Holy Spirit, I intensify the penetration of the souls of the people of light in every faith. I am the Macho Han. I speak in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I speak and I fan the fires of the threefold flame. I fan the sacred fire breath. I bring clarity of mind to all lovers of God, all who desire to act in his name, all who see the danger and would act, yet cannot and are prevented or mocked or ridiculed. Beloved hearts, the will of God descends with such an intensity for the very bracing of the earth for planetary changes of 1984. Oh, my beloved in the heart of the sun, oh, my beloved in the heart of the earth, oh, my beloved in the heart of Christ, I love you with the fervor of universes and worlds without end. I am the Holy Spirit. I am the teacher and comforter. I am your helper. You need not dally in the littleness of life, the smallness and narrowness of the carnal mind. You can run and expand and climb the hills and shout for joy and be free to be expanded for I am determined that smallness and provincialism and narrow-mindedness and bigotry and all of those things that separate and confine individuals shall be no more. And my Holy Spirit fire is laid upon the altar of life this hour and the grail this hour for the consuming of world fires of fanaticism and fanatical hatred of the living light of her children. O oh, beloved hearts, in the name of Saint Germain, I send the fire of the Holy Spirit for the binding of world superstition and all of the ignorance that has prevented the children of the light from the direct and everlasting contact with the Almighty One. 
Oh, delightful hearts who love the leaping flame of the Holy Spirit, I am come to anoint you. My angels do serve you. Remember my presence always and call to the angels of the Holy Spirit for the very self-transcending fire that is necessary for you to enter in. Be not dismayed if one should tell you as a holy teacher that you must come up higher, that yesterday's accomplishment is not sufficient for the day. Be not crestfallen, but be eager to move on with galactic cycles of life that are carrying this solar system and galaxy toward the great encounter with the central sun. We have come to Earth for cherishment, for our loved ones are here, our bands are here. We have come that you might be prepared to be one with Alpha and Omega in the beginning and in the ending of all cycles of thy being. We have come because we love you and you and you for no other reason. You are precious to our hearts. Understand, therefore, the fiery white wrath of God that also comes with the Holy Spirit to strip you then of all indulgence and unreality, leaving the most magnificent God-free being to carve out the destiny of himself and the future of evolutions unborn. Realize there is no love without the necessary alchemy. Plane upon plane you put on your God, and your mighty I am presence does speak through me in this hour to contact you with a most intense love that summons you to a higher vibration and a calling and a movement that can truly change the world. Oh, go forth, beloved ones, and change this earth nation by nation, for the free nations will be free. They must be free, and God has decreed it. Therefore, summon the archangels to deal with the proud and the rebels and the terrorists and the destroyers, for the Holy Spirit is the only valid and true destroyer. As the creator and the preserver and the destroyer, therefore, we come to consume evil, and we do not allow the evil one to destroy the precious little ones. We send forth that mandate. It does extend to the etheric octave. It is anchored in your etheric bodies. Now pull it down by your dynamic decree into the very physical atoms of the earth and let those atoms reject now the noxious odors of the demons of the night. Let them reject all superimposition of darkness. I say this with immense restraint, for were I to give that command in the full fury of the freedom of the Godhead, you would see instantaneous cataclysm as the earth element itself would throw off the darkness. Therefore, the beings of the elements and the hosts of the Lord do stand to guard my release, and you will find minor changes, but not those which are on a grand scale. No, not yet, for the sealing of the servants of God in their foreheads must come to pass, and therefore I will perform it and therefore I will do it. I request, therefore, that you pass by the altar and receive the touch of the emerald crystal, preparing your bodies once again for renewed calls of healing, which shall go forth from this sanctuary this very night by the power of Cyclopea, for we have not left off answering the prayers and the calls of the faithful, and we will see what the dispensations of the new year will bear.
in the name of Mary, Archaei of the fifth ray, Mother of God incarnate, mighty mediatrix of healing, mercy, compassion, truth. And in the name of Mother Mary, as the instrument of the judgment and the justice of God, I, the Macho Han, come now to bless you. Therefore, receive me into your heart in love and receive my little ones, my messenger, and all angels who attend your victory. Let love be both the testing and the victory of your soul. Mark my word this day, O oh beloved. It is the hour for the supreme testing of love in your life. I desire that you should pass the test of love, forgiving seventy times seven, ministering to life, being the helper, healing the brokenhearted, feeding the hungry. In the name of God, I charge you, forget not the test of love, for truly the angel of love is at the very door. <laughs>